Uh, last episode, we did end with uh, me derping around trying to find what I consider to be an aesthetically pleasing layout for the sulfuric acid. And in the end, after the stream, I just like, all right, I'll just go back to my uh, my normal layout. And after I did it, I was like, actually, my normal layout does look kind of nice. I think this is the same sort of thing I've done in pretty much every everyone in like the last, you know, few Let's Plays when we've gotten sort of this stage. Um, and it, it does work out pretty nicely balanced, it uses the space pretty well, it's pretty compact uh, without looking too messy, other than uh, where I'm bringing my uh, uh, my iron plates over there, which could have looked a little bit different, but you really only need the one the one flow of this, so I was like, well, we'll split it up in a few different ways, and that's going to be okay. Bah, bah, bah. You can't find the Factor Death World gameplay. Um, I don't know if we've ever done a, a Death World like Let's Play. We might at one point, but we haven't done that. Um, I don't think we ever we ever did. We did Death World the multiplayer stuff before though. That would be the one thing. I don't know. And well, we're gonna get started on this in a second. But before I do, I want to talk about the uh, the subs and resubs that have come in right before that. Weird chat not showing up on Safari. The new uh, the new Twitch page layout is is odd. Um, I mean, I guess it's about the same when you go to a, a stream that's live. But the like the offline page, I don't like that it hides the chat by default. Not not keen on that. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, the resubs that have come in just now, and then we're gonna get the factorizing over here. We got Red Fox who's coming in at eight months and skilling at eighteen. What a lovely number! Doctor Smith at eight months who said super excited for U four and CK three. When's that? Is it September? I don't remember when CK3, the release, I feel like September is the date, but there's so many games coming out, it's hard for me to keep track of. Um, I'm super looking forward to that as well. Anon Giles uh, is resubbed for 50 months, 5-0. Valen at 25. Uh, I Say at 7 months, said, yay, finally catching live stream. thanks for your years of entertainment. Well, thank you, I Say. Saradin at 42 months, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Lucky Dead Set at six months says, halfway through my first year of subscripting, and je ne regrette rien. I don't regret a thing. Uh, to be honest, I've been enjoying your content for quite a while prior to subscribing. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch your content for many years to come. Thanks for the great work. Well, thank you very much for that, Lucky Dead Set. Very much appreciated. Sarge Dragonus at 29 months, Boys of Zinj at 11 months, Laudrian at 65 months, bidet to you, sir. Uh, you went out to my herb garden yesterday, but it was so overgrown that it was a waste of time. Frolton at 13 months, we got a uh, baker's dozen of uh, subscription times there. Uh, Guti at 33 months, Heavy F at 3 months, IT Pindon at 31 months, Junk at 15, Captain Cannonball at 13. Thank you very much for that. And actually, just now, we've got Dora coming in at 5 months. Looking forward to CK3 with you, and Kiss for Luck is going to be awesome. 100% agree. And um, Essentia has been way into playing Crusader Kings uh, as well lately. Um, a partially prep for CK3, so we're all very excited. Red Fox as well. Okay, so we got you at the start there, Red Fox. Thank you very much for all the uh, the subs and the resubs. Shall we factorize? I think we should factorize. Um, yeah, so we've got um, we've got our sulfuric acid uh, production over there. You may notice over here, though, why is, why is the plastics not producing? Although... You can see we, we still we have we still have some like stored up in our in our slightly overlong transport belt over here uh, to our bus. Why is the plastic not producing? Well, it's because we're gonna go and set up the advanced oil processing uh, to start things off today, uh, and I've done a little bit of pre work. So at the end of the last episode, we did get our blue science packs up and running, which means we could unlock a few things, including advanced oil process in the second the second tier. So um, as of, and I think that was new as of 18, the base version only produced the petroleum gas without the light and heavy, um, uh, heavy oil over here. Um, so it's a lot easier to get started. The secondary version does produce the light and the oil, um, and it also produces more petroleum per per go, per input. So default, 100 crude oil makes 45 petroleum. With the advanced, same amount of crude oil, plus some water, makes 55 petroleum. So we're getting, um, I don't know, 20-ish percent more uh, um, petroleum gas out of it, in addition to all the heavy and light oil. Now, what's happened here, because I, I just set it up so that we could save a little bit of the, the, the tedious stuff before the stream, um, I'm dumping the light and the heavy into some containers, and these containers are full. Well, the light oil is completely full, therefore the refineries have stopped running, uh, because their output queue is full, I guess, oops. 
There you go. Uh, the output queue is full. If we look over here, it's got some light oil that it can't get anywhere. Um, and in the intervening time when I was just letting it run and do some research for us, um, the actual petroleum gas is emptied out with no more being made at this point. But Torah changed a lot since four years ago. Uh, yeah, a ton. It's under constant development. It's really impressive. Hey, we got a new, uh, we got a hype train. Level one. Thank you very much, everyone. Keep the, uh, the subs and resubs and follows and, and bits and all these things flowing. Thank you very much. Um, so what we have to do to start off with to keep our oil production going crazy good is we probably want to set up a little oil cracking so that we can turn the light oil and the heavy oil, which are going to bottleneck our oil refining, turn these into the more petroleum gas. So A, we have more petroleum gas, which is good because that's the thing we need most of, but also so that we can keep the whole process just flowing along. I mean, I could restart things temporarily by just if I put in some extra light oil storage over here, the, uh, the system will start working again um, as well. But let's go and set that up. And I think that's going to be that. And then after that, that, um, we did go and unlock purple uh, science packs in the research here, and there's no reason we can't produce any of this. Um, we already produce rail, electric, uh, we don't currently produce electric furnaces, but I mean, we clearly have the ability to do it, and we do produce productivity modules, so clearly we have everything we need to make purple science packs and start on the next level of tech. Um, I think I did this in between episodes as well. I did put productivity modules um, in all of our oil production. So all of our oil refineries have productivity modules. They're only the level one. I think we just got some bits. Oh, hey, Jared. Thank you. Oh, and a Boyd with the bits as well. And Goofer before that. You know what I just realized? My own volume settings are fairly low. So I probably missed some of those sounds. My bad, because I didn't actually have my own volume high enough to hear them properly. Um, might not stay the whole time. It's a fairly sunny day in Calgary. Nice. It is a nice day here too. Actually, it'd be a good day to sit outside and read a book, I think. Maybe after the stream, we'll see. And yeah, thank you, Goofer. Thank you very much. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, um, yes, so, something, cra oh, productivity modules. So put them in here. You can also put them in the pump jacks, which is really, really, really good. Um, the other pump jack sets over here have also got them. And then quite a few of the things, you can see the plastic, the sulfur, um, even the, um, the sulfuric acid over here have all got the productivity modules. Productivity modules use extra power. They also slow down the production. Buildings with productivity modules work a little bit slower, but every few times they produce a cycle, you get a freebie for, for free. Um, so at the cost of slowing down your production a little bit, you make a lot more of your end product from your raw resources, especially when something's got a lot of steps of this. So the point jack, so this gets a free crude oil, which then turns into free of these products, which turns into free of these products. So a little crude oil goes a much longer way, especially when you go all the way down to the science queue, where every single one of our science producing buildings also have a productivity modules and the um the actual science labs themselves so it means that we really stretch our our raw resources a lot more mm -hmm. really good for limited resources yeah um and really if you want it to go faster what you could just do is build more right like if we're slowing down our oil production this way and then we're like oh you know what? we need to speed it up again just you could just put down some more refineries after that um and it still works out well so if we want to get some cracking cracking what we need to do is we need to do this chemical plants. Hopefully I've gone and inventorized myself with everything we're going to need uh, to get this started. Now, I think the ratio is something like if you've got 20 refineries, I just looked this up ahead of time. If you've got 20 refineries, which is what you do, I think you need something like five to go from heavy to light and seven to go from light to heavy. Or so, I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to put some amount down. Um, worst case scenario, some of these are sitting idle and not doing anything. Who cares, right? So... Um, let's lay some down over here. Actually, you know, we can probably, okay, first of all, cracking, do we need water input? So if we want to crack from heavy to light, okay, we do need water in there. So I was trying to decide if I was going to do this back to back, like if we only needed heavy as an input, then we could do this and just run uh, heavy that way. But since it's not, I guess what we'll do is we'll flip around the other way and just have them dump the petroleum into the one thing, because that's going to be all right. And I don't know, I'm going to set up, uh... Six per side. Should be much more than we need. Hardly the end of the world. There we go. So we'll set up something like that. So this is going to break down heavy into light. So our light that comes out of this 
we're just going to have it connect up to the light system over here in some fashion. Let me do something like this, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Great stuff. So we got some lights crude feeding into this after it gets broken down. Quite a lot of productivity model for every productive thing I've ever done. You have enough for a single lap. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite book? Cool Man? I don't know. That is a really, really, really hard question to answer. Oh! I just realized I can't have these be uh, side by side. Like, Well! Okay, so here's the problem. If I do this, then my water and oil pipes get merged together, which is super bad. You can avoid it if you, um... If you use some undergrounds like that, because they won't merge up, but they're going to use a lot more material. I think what we're going to do is we're going to back up here, and we are just going to space them by one each. Or I'm still going to go with six per side, which should be overkill. Better overkill than underkill. There you go. Get the production going in. All right. And then what we can do is we can keep going with this sort of pattern. Well, I guess this is going to use just as many undergrounds. Um, no, because I can have the water connected this way. I mean, I was going to say, I usually do these undergrounds on the outside, but I think this is... Uh, yeah, as long as I have the double gap, it's going to be okay. Um, usually this was so that I could walk through it, but if I'm, if I'm using the squeak through, then I guess it really doesn't matter so much. We'll still have to do some undergrounding. But it's not so bad. Because um, we can do it like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then we just have to get the heavy in there. Um, okay. Now... Um, same thing. I guess I can run this for the water. Like that. Put that that way. Um, do this. And then grab some undergrounds. Okay. No, 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 no. Right, that's connected there. Good, okay. So, this wants to be fed from the heavy. Actually, let me connect this directly for now. We are going to replace this with a pump in a second. Mm -hmm. um, we're, not, we're not worried about overkill here because we're going to be using... That's a great point, Kimster. Excellent point. We're not worried about the overkill here because, in fact, here, let's put it down now. We are going to be using a pump with logistics to determine when we're going to do this. Then we that that's why we're not going to have to worry about overkill over here. We actually want this to process cuz we don't we're not going to run this full time. We're only going to run this when it turns out to be a surplus. So we actually do need overkill. Whatever the magic balance number is to process all the heavy and light into things, well we don't actually want to set up an initial ratio because we don't want to convert all heavy and all light into petroleum gas because we are going to be using some of it to turn into uh, lubricant, uh, fuel, like solid fuel things, maybe? Not sure what else. Anyway, all right, so that's a setup. We're gonna do the same sort of thing. Uh, we can probably actually just align it the same way and everything. Um, for cracking light into heavy. Change this, or sorry, light into petroleum gas. Which is currently our bottleneck. We need to break the light oil down into petroleum gas to stop us the, the fact that we're full of, of the light oil um, and we can't produce anything right now. No, no, no. I've got my concentration face going on. Everyone knows it helps. Don't try to deny it. Very useful. 
like if you uh, stick out your tongue and, and move it from side to side when you're driving around in Mario Kart or making jumps in like a platformer like Super Mario Brothers. Everyone knows you turn faster or jump higher if you stick out your tongue while doing this. Don't blame me, it's just science. Mm -hmm. Ah! There you go. Na 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 Okay. Uh, volume is fine. Oh, someone's volume not being quite right. Are you sure? Um, seems normal. Okay, so someone individually is having some sort of audio issue or something. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Like when you turn down the car radio to see better on the road. Well, that actually, that actually is a thing because it turns out it helps ease some of the uh, the brain processing stuff. That is true. That is true. Yep. Over at leaning into corn or you know doing this with the controller, right? Although, now, so many controllers have motion sensitivity, right? Like, if you're playing actual Mario Kart on the Switch, and you do this, well, depending on your options, you actually can steer that way. I don't know if I like where this is ending up over here. I might, I might straighten it up some other way. We will see. Alright, well, the other thing we need... And this, too, hold on, I'm going to make a bit of a decision here. Because right now it's connecting that way. There we go. Okay. So I want the heavy to light, I want to go and get pumped into here. But the idea is I don't I only want this pump pumping into the light to gas. Um cracking. If, if there's, you know, a certain critical amount. All right, you're going to need power, and we're also going to have to reach things. I guess you could do it on the big cable. There's no reason that, that can't work that way. That's going to be okay. Right now, this is operating, but we are, we're going to put in the logistics in a second. We're just going to get the system working first before we do that. You're going to come through there, and you're going to go to there. Okay, well, the only thing we don't have right now is the water hooked up on these things. So, I think all I'm going to do... You can see I've got this set up for sort of a, a liquid bus that's just going to make it, you know, easier for us to uh, pick up some stuff afterwards because we know where all our liquids are going to be. So that's now running water through all of this. Um, oops, not there. Probably merge that. I'm seriously out of pipes. Oh, it's okay. I can grab there's some iron plates that run just down here. I'll just grab a few and handcraft the last few missing pipes that I'm missing. Wow. It's amazing how quickly you burn through these things. Especially undergrounds. Uh, I don't know what I just made there. What is this? Train configuration reader. Okay, that's for part of our train supply system. Pick up a few extras. Okay. Getting a hard space shipbreaker yet? No, I have not. Na, 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 na. Okay. All the liquids are where they should be. Um, and now I just need to run some poles, which really only need this middle bit. for now. Let me get this other side going. 
and then we'll work out our logistics here. All right, everything green for now. Okay, so now this is going to start producing as well because we're now emptying our light a little bit, putting into the petroleum, which is lovely. So... What we want to do is we only want to do this cracking if we're really kind of like overfill on these things, right? If these things are so full that the rest of the refinery is going to slow down, that's when we want to keep, keep it in. We want to leave a little bit of room so this runs, but otherwise, I mean, we kind of want to be pretty aggressive with this. Um, sometimes what I've done is just a simple, like, is it greater than, you know, the other container, right? Like, if we have more light than petroleum gas, convert the light into petroleum gas. And if we have more heavy than light, convert the heavy into light. Actually, I think I just convinced myself that I'm just going to do it that way. Uh, which I've, I've done before, and it, it's kind of lovely and easy. Um, so, I was going to say, this is probably too far away. Uh, can you go from here to there? From here to here? Really? Wait, you can't reach that one? Oh! Oh! It's, I wasn't close enough. It wasn't that this is too long. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, this should work without a, co a comparator or anything, right? Because this should be able to... Uh, no, it does need a, a comparator. Sorry. Now, is there a way... Yes, there is a way. The way is you grab the same cable and you do this, and I think it removes it, right? There it is. Okay. We. I do need a comparator, which I have on me. of things where's the actual liquid amounts oh fluids there um all right there's a chance i'm not doing it right but we'll find out if the petroleum gas is less than the light oil then output some value And this can literally be, yeah, like, if anything is greater than zero, you should run. Do I still need to assign a symbol? I guess I do. I mean, I could use something, you know, we could say, like, oh, if it's, if A, it outputs A, and then we could check for A. But yeah, I guess I had to output something. So, this will run while we have more light than petroleum gas. Which I think is the sort of logic that I'm, I'm going to be operating here. It, it's very simple, but there's nothing wrong with simple. I guess I could set it up on this side and we could save ourselves a cable. I might rearrange this in a second. Let me grab, I'll use red for this one. There's no actual difference between the two. I think I might be able to connect it to there. Yeah, it was just a distance thing. Um, you're there. You're there. And I'm only checking one container, which is fine and doesn't really matter. Because what I'm sort of comparing is the percentage. Like, I don't really even care about the absolute amounts. It comes down... Because they, they store the same absolute amount. So whether I hook up all four containers or just one, it comes out to exactly the same because they're all linked. I'm basically saying, just generally speaking, if this entire supply is less than that entire supply, then start operating. Same thing here. If the... Heavy is less than the light, then output some sort of symbol. Just set everything to one. And then here, you're just checking. Listen, is anything 
greater than zero? If so, start running. And yeah, that is true because we have substantially less heavy than the light. Yeah. Hang on. We have less light than heavy. There you go. We have less light than heavy than it goes on. I was going to say, wait, something's not right. Because we have very little heavy right now. We don't actually need to convert the heavy into, um, into light right now. So this is not pumping. There's still a little bit of heavy in the pipes. My power just flickered. Internet still seems to be going. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I was, I was wondering about that. Um, if I just, because it would feel it would feel good if they did have a built-in comparator. Um, right. Okay. So that that works. If I have more heavy than light, there we go. So I don't need this other one. We can clean this up as well. Oh, there's still we still need a bit of a power cape. Although I can run it. And really the whole circuit can be the same. They can all be linked and all share the same data. Oops. So as a whole, they can just say. Yeah, okay. I like that. I think I like this better. If there's more light than petroleum pump, if there's more heavy than light. There you go. The only thing is you can't mouse over and see the numbers. The nice thing about feeding it through the comparator is on the mouse server, it'll tell you what the logic situation is. But yeah, we still have, we have stupid amounts of light. In fact, we're overly full on light. We might need more of this. Well, I mean, I think it's fine because these pumps are running right now. I say, I don't know, it might literally be full here. Yeah. I think we need to be able to crack the light even faster. Yeah, because these are still not running at full capacity over here. They're having to stop from time to time because they're getting backed up on the light oil. Seriously. All right. That's fine. And more tanks. Just double up on it. You know what? I'm gonna do this because I want an even number. Such a such a silly thing, but as we've discussed before, Factorio is all about little. Oh wait, hold on. That's not gonna be an e e added uh, an even number. There we go. Factorio is all about like dealing with your own personal silliness. With the belief that an elegant design might be a better design. Might not be. O often enough it is that you can use it as an excuse for, like, any kind of little fussiness and finickiness you might have about your designs here. At least that that's what I'm going to stick with. Seriously, out of these again. God damn. I'd have loaded up on a million pipes before starting this, but apparently I needed a million and one. Luckily, I have lots of undergrounds, which is good, because I don't want to hand-make those. They take a lot longer, and they take so much material. Oh. Okay. They're all running. This is going to increase our pollution a fair bit. There's a little mini baby camp right over here that I had to go and clear before the stream, because just adding the, um, just the refineries by themselves is crazy sauce. There you go. We're finally, we're not full on light oil anymore. And actually, the petroleum gas is adding up really quickly. Oh, which, actually, you can see the pump stop. I think it's flicking on every now and again. Yep, yeah, you see that? Because every now and again, we end up with still a little bit more light than this. Because I think right now, we're not necessarily using the light that quickly. Um, it depends on if my science is running or not. Because when the science is running, it's consuming plastic, but you can see it's backed up now. But I think we have set this up now, so we are we should be stable on the the new system. Um, the only question might be is 
is there a possibility at some point we're going to find ourselves with wanting more of this cracking? But yeah, and you can see these things shut down. Perfect. Which is happening because we've got lots of petroleum gas right now. Although they'll probably flicker on and off from time to time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's it. You have to produce you have to produce what? 10 regular pipes per underground pipe. That's why it takes quite a long time. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Uh do you in any way close do you in any way close to your water pump capacity with someone Oh, are, you're saying are, am I in any way close to my pump capacity? Um I suspect not. Most I'm concerned about the pressure and range. If we check over here, yeah, so this is what's supplying our um our oil refinery right now. Admittedly not everything's running right this second, but it's currently only using 100 out of its 1200 for, for the um, the refineries over here. So I think it's fine. If I was a little bit concerned for when this is operating, I could put a tank in here as like a bit of a buffer to to full to fill up while things aren't going. We could also add a little bit more pressure or some pumps along the way. But I think we are um, I think we are solid on there. So yeah, petroleum's 100% full because again we're not con currently consuming things. Um, I guess actually. Turn on a science again. I, I, I stopped de developing science for a sec just to make sure that we wouldn't critically run out of plastic for something. And it turns out we needed some plastic kicking around, but now we can restart it. Uh, I'm not going to do the recursion level two right now because it's like 5,000 iterations of science. It's really time consuming. So we'll just burn through some of these others, which are going to go really, really, really fast. And I think what we do now is we set up our purple science pack. Light old solid fuel. Yeah, I, every time every time we do the solid fuel, I always have to check up. Like, okay, wait, how much do we need for everything? And because there's like one of them, but yeah, I think the light oil is the best the best one to turn into solid fuel um, in terms of material efficiency. Oh, speaking of efficiency, I can also use productivity modules over here, which is totally what I want to do. Laser turret, I mean, we're not, pro might, uh, probably won't bother with laser turrets in this one. Laser turrets are great when you've got respawning bases because you don't have to worry about filling them with ammo. But in this situation, like, we just clear the bases once and it's good to go. But it's still a prerequisite tech for other things. There you go, putting more productivity modules in here because we really don't care about the speed of this. Because um, again, if we needed more speed, we just added more of these little structures. But this gives us even more freebie material in the end. Nothing's running right now because we're 100% full of petroleum gas because we're not consuming it. Did I miss one? Curses. Did I? No. I think they're all good. Yeah. Uh, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Yeah, purple science? I think purple science. And then what I was wondering... We do have this giant uranium patch. Should we just say, who needs solar power? Let's just go straight to nuclear. Let's go amongst yourselves. I do find the nuclear stuff pretty fiddly. Whereas, like, the the uh, solar power, um, especially once you got bots, you're just like, paste, 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 paste. Giant solar fields. It's just so easy and convenient. Whereas the nuclear is like, it's such a pain in the ass. But it's fun. Smack a tree. Get a little scratch on our paint job. All right. Uh, we also did unlock the uh, the tech for the largest uh, factorissimo size, but... All right, um, before I start building our science area, let's pick up some needed resources. Uh, I mean, I don't... Oh, shit, I forgot you're still all effed. No! I should really just clean this up in another way, but all right, done. I gotta remember to pick those up manually. Half that much, sure. Undergrounds, those are fine. Other inserters are currently okay. All right, that seems fine. Let's do the science in another Factorissimo. Do I have... Okay, I have the blue things. That's good. Factorissimo are somewhere over here, right? Oh, right there. Way over here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Viper, um, that, that's fine. I didn't care about even distribution in this particular case because I was I had enough in my inventory to fill everything to the max. But you you are correct. Yes, with the um, the the fill for me. Well, it's not fill for me. It's even distribution or whatever. But anyway, oh, I already have one in my inventory. Never mind. So let's do this like this. And what's nice, what we may do, actually, let me pick up another factory. Or, um, hang on. You're going to come out somewhere over here. That's what we're going to do. There we go. Just have some gap. Do this. Do that as a ghost for the uh, the last science pack whenever we get to it. Because then they can both output over here. Because I think, yeah, if I do this... We can do something like that for the last science pack. And you got power, so you're lit. Excellent. Let's just go and stretch this out. And then bots. So these buildings are um, part of a mod called Factorismo, which I've never played with before. But I'd always wanted to, so that's what we're doing over here. Um, it, I think it would be extremely useful in something like if you're doing Bobs and Angels. Because Bobs and Angels has a ton of little tiny production queue for... All of its various like stupid amounts of resources um, and I think it would be a lot easier to base it that way for a standard uh, factory run I'm not sure that it's a deal maker one way or another um, but it is neat and the sooner you start using it the more your production lines just start looking like a collection of little buildings and then you walk into them and they're bigger on the inside because they're Gallifrey and technology just go with it okay so I want to output my science over here. And probably, okay, hold on. What are we making here? We're making purple science, which has three ingredients. So it does, I mean, does need two lines of input. It needs to pick up a lot of rail. Probably what we'll do is we'll put the rail on the innermost belt so it can be picked up with blues. Um, although yellow would be enough, like it's got to swing 30 times, but it's 30 swings in 21 seconds. And we do have the stacking bonus, so the yellows uh, will go and pick up two at a time. So it's actually fine, whether we put it on the inside or the outside. Okay, good to know. Uh, just whatever, research more things. Um, but it does mean that for this to work, we will need pairs of belts like that. Um, and so probably what will happen here... Let me give us a little more space. I guess it doesn't need the space. It can really be right up against the edge. So probably, you know, they'll feed into the middle and then go out that way. Now this was 21. Oh, but you get three of them. So hold on. Does this mean, so someone check my math. Does this mean if I have seven things producing this, I will be producing one per second? So if I have 14 of these, I will be producing two per second, which is what we're sort of standardizing our science on. Did my math check out? Seven seconds per beaker, so we're gonna get two if we're running four of them, or seven of them. All right, that's fine. Um, when I saw 21 seconds, I thought it was going to have to be a giant production line for this one. It's like, oh, no, no, it's fine. Boom, boom. Um, you know what? I know it uses more material. But this follows the pattern. Ah, our little fact factorial quirks is what we got going on here basically. And yeah, it turns out that yellows are going to be fine. Both the yellows and red will do the job correctly to grab all of this. Where's my reds? They're over there. I have an itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. Actually, it's not my nose. It's my, like, my mustache, basically, that's itchy. Okay. 
Now, in terms of inputs, you need around. Um, we'll probably make all these in here. We don't need a ton of any of this. Oh, right. The power's already in here. Thank you. I mean, do I see blinking lights? No, there's no blinking lights. We have all the power we need. I got the power. Uh, all right. Rail. So, okay. You need... If we had 21 of these, we would need 30 rail per second. We have two-thirds of this, so we need 20 rail per second? I think that's right. I need more inputs. Oh. Okay. Well, we got room. Let's, um... All right, rail. We need 20 of these per second. This makes four per second, so we only need five of these. Um, although this will overfill one of these, right? Because this only has room for 15 per second per side. What I'm going to do, we'll do five. I'll do six. We don't need 21, we need... We need two-thirds of 30, right? We need two-thirds of 30, so we need 20, not 21. Yeah, red is 30, but total. Um, it's 15 per side. As I, It's one of those things where, like, I know, and then I keep forgetting. Because I, I can never remember, like, wait, how do, how do they listing it? But yeah, it's 15 per second per side. So if we're producing 20 per second... We are going to need to dump on both sides. But that's okay, because we were already planning on having a solo line of just the um, of just the rail. And actually, what I'll probably do is have you come over like this. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if it's on the inner or outer because we determined that the swing times are going to be okay. Because the red swing's just as fast as the yellow, right? And if they're picking up two per swing, then that means they can easily fit 20 per second, which is exactly the ratio we're looking for. You know, again, unless I've made some terrible machines. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 like that. Okay. So this is all we need here, and this need does need to swing quite quickly. Um, the blue is actually enough. Because it should grab two per... But Yeah, no, the blue should be fine, because it's making four per second, which is what a blue should be swinging at now, right? Uh, again, just because... Keep the pattern, I'm going to do it that way. Um, I don't know, maybe. Okay. Now, you need stone and steel... Uh, and one each, so it's all kind of the same. You have four inputs per second. Like, if I'm just looking at the stone and the steel, it's four inputs per second. Yeah, so it just means we need two things on the inner one that gets picked up by the blue. And we need a single thing on the outer one that gets picked up by the red. Okay. Whatever, you know, in any kind of combination that might be, it's going to be fine. I think what I'll do is I'll have the stone and the steel come in here. Uh, I mean, the throughput doesn't really matter that badly, but you know what? I will do it, um, more right. 
Because, yeah, we're going to have, like, all the throughput we need. But this, this is going to have to go in the inner. Because there's going to be two different products here, so it needs twice as many swings. So that's going to have to be on the inner. And the outer, we're going to put the, um, the sticks. Now, we're currently, this is going to operate basically 12 cycles per second, because it's two cycles per second each, we got six of them, so we're doing 12 cycles per second, so we need 12 iron sticks per second. If I do it in here, which I could move it somewhere else, but we get, we get four per second out of one of these. So three would be enough. Again, just because of symmetry, I'll go ahead and do more over here. Um, but we don't actually have enough room really practically to work it there. So I'm just going to go and, and build it over here. And you're going to dump that way. And dump over here. Yeah, you're right. I could have used two reds for the output. But we've got we've got all the space. Well, I was to say we got all the space. No, hold on. I forgot we've got other things to produce. You know what? I do like it. Change of plans. I forgot we have other things to produce, and therefore we might have to be a little cautious about our space. I think we've got lots, but unless I've screwed up the math, this is going to be everything that we need to get this going. Because this is going to be enough to unload four per second, which is what we're going to be inputting. Yeah, I guess what I'll do... Research whatever. We'll get iron to come in over here. I think we'll need iron for something else, but it'll be in a really convenient place for us to split. And we could always, of course, input more than one line of iron. There's no reason we can't. Okay. Yeah, I want to play some Aurora as well. Um, Blue Nexus, it's definitely getting there. It's definitely getting super itchy. I was really excited about it when it was, you know, C-Sharp first came out, and I was like, right, I can't play it right now, because horrible, horrible non-stop bugginess would be awful. Um, so we need stone, steel, iron. And yeah, just go and, oops, do you over there, like that, like that. Stone, steel, iron, I think, was what we were looking for here. Looking good. Okay. There'll actually be a back backlog here because we're producing too much of this. We're also producing too many of these sticks, which, I mean, again, better than having a bottleneck like a we're producing slightly more than we need bottleneck than slightly less than we need. All right, that's the rail part of the equation. Um, next is an electric furnace. And with this, we need one per cycle. So we just need we need. And, um, hold on. Mm -hmm. 
One per cycle, cycle, no, what, what's our math on this? We actually, we don't cycle once per second in our production, right? We need one of these. We need, yeah, because we need two thirds of what it says. We need two thirds of an electric furnace per second. That's true. I think it's true, but it feels so wrong. Yeah, I, you're right. I need 14 and 21 seconds. I need two thirds. Okay. Um, so how quickly does an electric furnace produce? We produce one in five seconds. So this would be three fifths, which is too little. So if we do four fifths, that's slightly more than we need, right? Fraction math is not hard, but I doubt everything when you're doing stuff live. Like, oh, you need a lot of material. Um, when you're doing stuff live like this, it's like, you, you just, I mean, you know, the, the golden rule is never math live. And you just start doubting everything about your existence. Man, I'm happy we're doing this in live stream as opposed to YouTube. Uh, all right, so if we do this, that should be good. So what do you need in here? You need steel, red, and stone brick. Um, we do have all those things on the belt. We already bring in steel, and there's no way that we're going to use all the steel that we've got here. So I think we can pretty much just grab from here to do a thing. Um, swing time doesn't matter. It takes five seconds. Um... I'd say the only thing is we don't really want we don't want both steel and stone brick to be on the furthest one is is the only thing. Um, nothing else really matters. Uh, we're gonna bring in the brick red circuits. We're gonna bring in green circuits over here because the next thing we need is the uh, the modules and they just need red and green. So brick red green. Here. Let's research whatever's next. Tanks! Well, we're not, I don't think we're going to bother building tanks. Unless we make one token one. Just so we could be cool. I want the reds to line up over there somewhere. Like that. I think that's correct. Thanks for the memories. Boo! <laughs> the, uh, oh, the, the buildings are from a mod. I think what I'm going to do... Um, here, we'll do this again, just... Even though we have more than enough throughput, but... Some of these other things. Yeah, I, should, I could probably just move this pretty far down. If I go and do something like this. this down but I mean I think we're gonna have lots of room 
I'll do is I'll just keep the spaghetti a little tighter down here because I can move this down if it turns out we need some more space for something else somewhere in there. Um, this is going to look a little silly, but I'm just going to backfill you that way. Do that. Do this. And do that. And then... Uh, you need to swing quite fast on the inside. Oops! And then... You don't need to swing quite as frantically on the outside. There we go. We're going to start producing that. Okay, last thing we need is the same thing. So we need two-thirds of one per second of the red. Now, they're not super quick of the production thing. But we know there's no prereqs, which is kind of nice. Um, they can also be merged up. This should be okay. So it's production module one, right? I mean, it must be. Yes. Base productivity module. Let's check. Mm -hmm. 15. Well, two thirds of this is 10, right? So we need to be able to. Oh, sorry. So, okay, yeah. If I had 15, we'd make one of these per second. So if I have 10, I make one of these every two thirds. I make two thirds one every second, which is the ratio I want. I'm happy I got chat here. If I have 10 of these, I make two-thirds one every second, which is the number I'm, I'm targeting. Dead with... Wait. Yeah, okay. Uh, Input-wise, uh, you need a fair number, but not a tragic number. Anyway, we'll just... Uh, I'll do the same thing. We'll do... Right, just barely enough room. I don't know if we need the blues for the pickups, but what the hell. And yeah. We need extra belts here just because I want to keep the pattern matchy. Really not needed to maintain the throughput here, but apparently I'm committing to this idea. Even though it needs more underground belts and stuff. It does add, let our transport belts act as a better buffer. Okay, in theory... That's correct, I need that. Da -da -da. Once this catches up, these should all be lit green. And the, the cycle takes 21 seconds, and the first ones will grab it, and then they'll grab enough for a second production run. I think they grab enough for like 30 seconds worth of production or something like that, um, which in this case we do two production runs. So the ones at the end are going to be starved out a little bit while these guys get all their extras, but there you go, and you start getting the dumps there. And that's going to start to flow out. Okay, we'll come back and check on you in a minute. Don't verify that everything is green. And there'll be some little yellow indicators over here because, again, they're over full. Uh, we've got you. Let's run you. Um, I was going to say straight up, but you know what? Have you on the rocks instead. <laughs> I'm going to run you parallel over here. Might run a little out of belts. I don't know if there's actually enough room for you to run alongside here. Nope, looks like there is. Okay. Oh, shit. I think 
we already did this, right? Yeah, let me clean that up. Okay. And I think I ran my car into a few of these at some point. Now, I'm okay with not following the pattern here, because at some point we want to break it anyway. And we want to drop in over here. The next one will be what? Utility science, which is what? Yellow? Something like that. What I want to do... Let's just start loading these in sideways. Well, since I had a bunch of science packs on me, start dumping you in there. There we go. And then we have room to put another one over there if we need a little bit extra. Okay. They're doing energy weapon damage right now, which takes forever to research, and it's not even something we care about yet. Um... We might, well, actually, what we probably want to do is, is, is get some bots, which we have the tech for. Um, bots aren't terribly useful until you do give them a little bit more speed and cargo side, which you need, do need the purple for. So we got that. Actually, um, oh, next mining productivity needs yellow. Oh, that's too bad, because mining productivity is a good one to uh, develop, because it makes your, um, your resource patches last a lot longer. A lot longer. Well, while this is, is flowing in here, what we might do... Let's see, we are ending up... Well, I was going to say, we're ending up with a queue of purple. Well, we're not using purple yet. Let's go look inside. I think the thing I'd like to do next is is make our bot production. Because we can start the bot production now, even without any of the, the upgrades. We can at least get it started. Oh, let me grab one purple. So we can put it in the box. Oop, right over there. Huzzah! Yeah, since, okay, you know, I kind of want to let this finish because it's nearly there. But, yeah, probably, let's let's sneak in the lab speeds first. Which is by itself going to take a while. But that's going to be okay. And then I'll start consuming that. Oh, um, productivity modules can be dumped in there. Oop. Oh, bunch of those. You check, you've got them, right? Yes. Now, not everything in here can be loaded with productivity modules, and that's fine. We could put speed modules in, but we're not going to need that. Yeah, I was going to say, we may as well do this, because you you slowing down is fine, because we were overkilling you. Plus, we're going to break our ratios anyway, because what we're doing here, all these are going to run slightly slower because of the productivity modules. Oops. Oh! Right. Oh, uh, these have to be done by hand. Because it's an ingredient. So this is going to slow these guys down slightly. Uh, but give us more freebies for material, which is what we're looking for. I don't know if there's a... Is there an option key to, like, force it to go into the module slots as opposed to the, um, you know, the, the, the inventory queue? There might be. There we go. So again, these run a little slower, but all our sciences it has the module, the productivity module, so it ends up being exactly the same in terms of the end result. <laughs> I wouldn't say you should, but you could consolidate all your science production and research inside one factory. By the way, well, that's true. With recursion, we could have all the production in the same big one, and we could actually move our science labs into just one as well. That is kind of interesting, actually. 
just one building that like you keep recurring into to produce everything would be kind of nifty. But space is cheap. That's why I never really cared that much about Factorismo. I like it. I like in concept. It's really interesting. But I never like stressed about it. Okay. Um, we also have a lot of dead space here we could use for bots. Um, getting the resources up there might be slightly annoying because we've got to sort of weave around here. Although what I could do is figure out what we need and just weave it over into here, which might be okay. Maybe I'll do something like that. Or I could just not bother with a factorissimo for it. But you know what? Let's we'll we'll just keep leaning into it for now. Grab one of these. And let's say, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck it in here. I'm gonna do bot production right over here. I could even line it up with this building. Boom. This is gonna be bot production. It's fine. It's like, oh, we'll block some of those outputs. We're not going to use those outputs. It's going to be okay. Low on red circuits. Uh, that would not surprise me. Yeah, uh, because we actually we do not produce red circuits very quickly. You know, maybe. I think I want to get the bot production going, but then we're probably going to go and. Um, build, uh, we're going to expand our rail situation dramatically. Um, especially we're going to need, we're going to need blue circuit soon. Um, it's going to be time for us to build a big circuit making like factory somewhere accessible by rail. Uh, and that'll also mean hooking up a lot more copper. Um, actually the other thing is we should get, it's, a, it's a little early actually to move to electric smelting because we don't have that much power generation. We'd have to extend our power generation a lot. I don't know what order I want to do things in. But yeah, I have like... This is literally... All of our red circuit production is over here, and it's not that much. It's a little baby factory. I could potentially just... I don't know. Yeah, I don't think... I can't... Um. Does it actually use it? If I if I copy a blueprint off an existing one, I wonder if it uses it. Let's find out. I mean, it's still not the ideal place to build red circuits in bulk, but the inputs are sufficient that we could easily just put a, a double up on this. Copy blueprint. Put it down over here. No, okay, it didn't. But it's fine, I guess I can just... Do this. You can pick up factories. And it will preserve their contents. belts finish that am I good on other things I could pick up a few other things too a thousand of those actually we'll need some more undergrounds pretty soon oh I actually need some more splitters as well I'm going to pick up more reds this way without doing the mistake I keep doing where I end up picking up too much uh, we'll pick up a few yellows, uh, a few more blues. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Nomad Gunslinger. Great name, by the way. Thank you very much for that. I uh, haven't caught a live stream in a while. I've spent the last couple of weeks launching rockets and auction not included. I guess the next couple of weeks is launching them in Factorio. I do have to go back to auction not included. We did go and take a look at it, you know, relatively recently. Um, you know, like... Because I hadn't really looked at it 
for a long time since the initial early access days. But still haven't given a, a, a super long-term playthrough. One day that'll definitely have to happen. Yeah, see that message there is because it's waiting for delivery of these things. But I don't think the bots can ever get inside the buildings to do that, so that's okay. I have them on my person, it's going to be fine. Faster if I was walking on the belt, but... Clearly this, uh, this factory could do a redo to use the space more efficiently. And actually, if we used recursion, we'd be able to fit in a lot more... Um, a lot more red circuit production in here, right? We, oh! I don't have enough of the uh, these guys. Um, yeah, we, we use the the small factories to make the say the wire and things like that. We just have a lot more room for the actual red circuit production. But this is fine. The one thing with factoryismo, if the bots don't work inside and you can't just like blueprint the entire factory. Um, and once you do get bots, the factory simo really loses some of its appeal because you can't just use bots to expand your line. But I, I mean, we're not going to use this to multiply our red circuit production, um, especially when you get the blue circuits because you need so much circuitry. It'll definitely have to just be its own little train stop area to do it on mass. This might stay here. We might still use this as a way to supply um, circuits to the bus. Although, this might not be enough for everything we're trying to do on the bus as is. We'll have to see. Yeah, that's correct. Usually, I, I provide the resources from the outside and then dump in, but I guess we did the invert here. Which is fine. Science. Give me more science. Some of the things are upgrades for things I don't care about, but whatever. Boop. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Okay, I think all that's left is the inputs. Now, we can move this plastic input to somewhere else. There's no reason it has to be there. Uh, but, copper, and actually you can see our, th our throughput, well, we might want a dedicated copper line for this. And then the iron goes to here. Yeah, what I might do is I might just... Well, I mean, we've got it built already. Whatever. I'll just get the plastic coming in here. One of those. Do that. Into there. Where's the plastic? There it is. Uh, our steel production isn't keeping pace with their demand anymore either. Clearly. Um, and I think that's just raw smelting capacity. It's not. Oh! Oh! Hold on. This is not supplying enough iron ore. We just have to start uh, grabbing it from here. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that in two seconds. It's possible that a smelting. 
still it won't be enough. Enemy coming up top. Um, how come you got a plane balancer set up there? You shouldn't need that. I mean, it never hurts. Um, you might actually, yeah, once it's on the bus, actually, think because things pull stuff off the bus somewhat unequally, you can end up with one lane getting backed up, so it's probably worth throwing one lane balancer in there. Either way, we're going to end up with a certain amount of spaghetti with um, getting this to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it over here. And actually, we'll do a lane balance there. Might make the other one redundant, but oh well. So I use an extra splitter. That's going to be fine. All right, merge up there. So in theory, you should be starting. Oh, yeah, there's. Oh, we don't have the output done yet. As I say, it, there was going to be some lag before it started producing some, but there we go. Chum, 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 chum. And then, yeah, you're a little stalled, but not really. You're producing this stuff, which is mostly going to be okay. And a little bit of a trickle over there. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, uh, there's an option. I think you have to put it in map generation or something to cue the science, I think people were saying. But we're not going to stress too much about it. There you go. So a little bit more of a trickle of red. Okay, let's go fix the steel. Well, fix. Oh, the coal inputs, uh, which we knew was going to happen at some point. That's actually... Um, this actually was intentionally set up this way, that these guys would start starving up on coal. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second if you don't see why. If you didn't see why. Um one too long or that one just too short i think this one's just too short because i didn't really need that much yet i still have a little bit of production over here what i'm gonna do do that and that i'm gonna go ahead and steal a little bit from this into there and pick up a little bit of a mess there and there Let's go fix the copper situation. Mm -hmm. You can see we're needing some copper mining soon. We're nowhere near saturating things anymore. We've we're just crossing over the point where oh we've got we've got all the copper we ever need to we'll never have enough copper to satisfy, satisfy everything. We're just starting to hit that point. And it's gonna go. It's gonna go super saiyan as soon as we hit the uh, the blue production. So what's the deal with the coal? Well, this coal patch was nearing the end, and we have it preferentially feeding everything into our power, which is still kind of correct. But we have this giant amount of coal coming in here from our train. It's intentionally being set up that that is only supplying to our power generation. Because I actually wanted the smelters running out of stuff to be there as sort of a, well, sort of a canary in the coal mine kind of situation. Now, this is not literally out yet. But it's pretty close. What is this? It doesn't matter that we get if we get every last ounce of something out of our mind, but it kind of does, doesn't it? Would feel better if we if we did. So what's happening is this line here is the only line coming in from our coal train kind of thing, and it's also set up the side load here so that we preferentially use the coal from there. We're only using the stuff from the uh, the train to fill in these gaps. Otherwise, we have un, um, uninterrupted flow over here. Um, I think all of our like all of our filtering and stuff doesn't need to exist anymore, which is nice. What I think I'm going to do, and again, we're going to change this later, as soon as as soon as this patch is just done, 
and we don't have to worry about, um, you know, these mines anymore. Again, it's so low I could probably just rip it out now, but there's that part of me that just wants to consume every last ounce first. I'm going to do the same thing here and do some side loading. Uh, i got to pull back by one. No, pull back by one. There it is. Which, currently, it's not competing with anything because we have it priority split to there. But I'm going to do this anyway for now just to keep this going for a little bit. Because I just want to make sure to drain everything from here. Because we may as well do something like that. And that's going to be fully fully done and should be okay. The coal consumption over here is not that high. I think the one is going to be sufficient. We can easily bring in some more and that's okay. And then, yeah, once all this is empty, the whole thing's getting bulldozed. And we're going to be feeding into this very, very, very differently. Plus, long term, this might not be where our, our smelters are. Especially if we do set up like an electric smelting, like bulk smelting places with like... 24 lines of smelting or something ridiculous like that. Otherwise, everything's still producing okay here. The power is still getting everything it needs to do. Power production is... I mean, we're nearing where we need to be with the power production. Like, we're, we're starting... We're going to run out soon, but not quite yet. Okay. South coal with no power? What? Oh, and that might have been an old message, I realize now. Might be something else with no power? Probably. Probably. We're not side loading into a side loader, we're side loading here and side loading here. They're they're different they're different lines. I mean we've got the lane balancer there, which doesn't need to exist anymore. But that's okay. And over here. Well, we don't actually need any radar right there. Like, we're on the edge of the radar information here, but really what we'd want... Don't kill me, train. We want to pull the radar a little further out. Probably something around here. Yeah, even here there's lots of overlap, but that's okay. Oop, there's the train. So I'm not even pulling things off the other side of the train. We're collapsing a bunch of these lines into fewer lines. That's okay. There's so much coal sitting on the other side of this. That's unused, and that's fine. So everything should now be... Yeah, you can see the coal is starting to back up again. And all of our smelting operations are operating out. These aren't connected to anything, so that's fine. But that's okay. It's just a bare trickle of coal reaching here. But we don't actually consume much coal over here. It's like some grenade production, basically. And that's about it. And that's going to be fine, too. Okay. Now that we've got that fixed and that fixed... Do we bot it up? I think I'd like to get bots, despite the fact that, yeah, we're a little bit starved on a couple of, of things. You know, some of our resources aren't going to be flowing in to be used at maximum speed, um, but that's okay. I could even, I could put a pause in uh, some of our sciencing, well, especially the stuff we don't need, like this. Kind of, I kind of want to get bots. Isn't your sulfur use some coal from the middle? It, are you asking about this sulfur? Or that, sorry, the, well, the, um, the plastic? Because, yeah, it's got tons of coal lined up over there. But you can see it's backlogged uh, backlogged over here. I mean, not not fully, but this is going to be okay. Yeah, no, I, th I think we're all right. Uh, the personal robot port, yes, is researched. I am wearing modular armor, uh, and I did slap some solar panels in there. Uh, but they clearly don't power anything right now. So I think, I think that's all the stuff we kind of want to work on. I think I will go, I, I, it, even though we don't really have the resources, in a sense, I think I will go and get the robotics set up, and then we'll go and scale up the, uh, the copper slash circuit production. Um, okay. So what do we need for these? First of all, the RoboPort itself. And then these robots. I don't know if I want to produce all of them in the same space. The RoboPort doesn't need a big production queue. I think the RoboPort is just going to build outside. I'll do bots inside of this. Even then, now the bots need a fair amount of work. Yeah, because they need all kinds of different engine levels and things like that. Um, I think what I'll do, even though it's going to lead to some spaghettification, is I'm just going to say do it over here. Actually, I could sort of just... We don't produce RoboPorts quickly. 
Like, we don't need a billion. If I do something like this... I don't remember where the report is. And just do this. Into a box. I mean, that's fine, right? Um, okay. Let's only research maybe what I need for whatever step we're going next. I don't need... Oh, there's personal report mark two. Oh, we don't need yellow signs yet, so... And the logistics... We need yellow... Hold on. Maybe we do want to just set up yellow signs first. Just skip the mark one roboport. You know what I just realized? We don't make batteries yet. We don't make batteries yet. Uh, steel, gears, red. We definitely need batteries. <laughs> to run our personal suit, if nothing else. Alright, slowly make me roboports. Yeah, even handcrafting the original robots is good. Is fine, yeah. That is true. Um, although, you can't because you can't handcraft um, the electric engines, right? Yeah, I don't think I can sit here and set up our logistics yet, unfortunately. Oh, can't take productivity mods. Take a speed one, but no need to... Hell, we could throw in an efficiency one. If we don't really care about the speed of roboport production, we'd save a little bit of power, but I think, I think that's going to be fine. So batteries, just... They don't need too much. We can easily get that set up. Iron plates, copper plates, sulfuric acid. That's right, because at the end of the last stream, we set up the sulfuric acid over here, and every we were definitely going to start our battery production next. Now, I think, yeah, and we were even running a copper line here, because I was going to do the battery production sort of closer in this area here. Let's go and do that right now. So, before we do, let's make sure I'm going to get lots of underground pipes. Tons of regular pipes. Um, I still have chemical plants. No, I have chemical plant on me. Let's get more chemical plants. Um, I don't think we need much of anything else. Uh, I might want to pick up a few more red inserters, maybe some more yellows. Belts and things should all be okay. There's more, it looks like there's more sulfur than there is, because it's actually one line being split into four. I don't actually have four lines worth of sulfur production. But, I mean, it's still a good amount. Oh, I was going to pick up some reds, so that's right. Okay. Actually, I don't need the car. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run some of the sulfuric acid this way. Whatever liquid bust there. Actually, just so that, even though I might not need it there, but in a sense, there's going to be one place where all my liquids are found. And I don't have to go in hunting for it. Oh, 
Oh, right. Got the click and drag doesn't, uh... I think that's still broken. Hold on. Yeah, no. What's annoying... So with power cables, if you click and drag on a power cable, that is the correct way to start it. But not so with the undergrounds. Um, so what happens, there was an underground here, and I want to just keep going with the click and drag. So I was like, oh, I'll click here and then drag. But see, it puts the extra one down. Which, since it's inconsistent with power cables, I would actually consider that to be probably a bug. That has existed for like a thousand million years. So, I mean, it's possible the game developers don't consider it a bug, but... With Factorio and the way the devs are for this, and they're they're real perfectionist, it wouldn't surprise me if they do and just haven't gotten around to it, or maybe, you know, it just never occurred to them. What is this? Oh, right. I was just going to do that, probably. There you go. There's no way, no matter what liquid I'm looking for, I'll sort of vaguely know where to find it. And so for now, what I think I'm going to do... We could set up a string of pumps here, too, to maintain pressure. This, um, this copper patch, I think, is too small to ever be worth mining at this point. Now, to make better, I don't think we need any water. No. I know we're taking a long trip around for this, but I think we'll appreciate later on having things organized uh, kind of like this. Okay. So let's get some battery production sort of in here. Uh, so I need chemical plants positioned someplace. Four seconds crafting time, so grabbing time doesn't matter. Probably what I'll just do... Seems okay. Um, so this produces one every four seconds. If we want to saturate a side of these, because it's 30 total, 15 per side, so 45 in a line? I say we go for it. Just, you know, future-proof, but I'll need a little extra room over here. Yeah, we might, I've talked about it before, we may use some pumps to keep the pressure um, going. Do something like this. Then this, and just do that. Did no one correct me? So I'm assuming the 45 is correct. Um, wait, no. 15 per side times 4 would be 60. Can I actually support 60 battery producers in one line? The 60 divided by 4 is 15. 15 per side. That would That's how much you need to saturate this. I mean, I don't have to build it along. We probably... Copy and paste is built in the game. It has been for a while. Um, 
We'll probably end up with a backlog for certain things. But wow, that's crazy. What about the inputs? Well, you're only grabbing one, right? Yeah, one of each. So the math works out the same for inputs and outputs. This is what, 20 right now? Let's just do 20 for now. It might be 25. 5, 10, 15. No, it must be 20. And just build parallel lines. It's fine. Just because you can't... Oh, I need more of these... Uh... Um, these chemical plants too, but that's okay. Just because you can build a line that's 60 units long doesn't mean you have to. Come on, Quill! Just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Or that you should. Just because you live somewhere where they're not legally... Forcing you to wear, say, a face mask doesn't mean you shouldn't maybe consider wearing a face mask. That sort of thing, you know? <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to find out that I'm being tragically wrong about something over here. I should really minimize how much of this I set up until I'm 100% sure that uh, I'm vaguely correct about things. Um, Alright, you're going to go here. And then you're going to have a bit that goes in like that. Just using this to space things. Okay, something like that. I like the little beeps of the radars. Not surprising, because it might normally be the sort of thing that could annoy me a little bit, but... It happens, I think, rarely enough. And it's a, it's kind of an appealing beep sound for some reason. <laughs> do a tutorial for all the expansions? You mean a tutorial with all the expansions, is that what you mean? Because I don't think I could do a tutorial for every single expansion individually. Although, I could see, I could see, like, you know, a tutorial explain, like, on each core mechanic. I mean, that would have value. That I don't think I could do that, but that would have value. I would agree with you there. So I'm not researching anything right now, um, because I don't want to use material on research that could go towards uh, various productivity things that we need, um in the immediate present. Uh, have you set up production for something? Uh, uh, wait, we have, uh, so we have this for sulfuric acid, which produces a lot pretty quickly. I don't know, you know, we'll have to double check some of our numbers. So this consumes, each one of these consumes five sulfuric acid per second. So, and we're producing 50 per second per, so one of these can handle 10 of these. Right now we're looking at, we've got 40 laid down. So we need four of those. So four of these is all we need for a battery production. If I'm ratioing that correctly. Which I always assume that I'm not. But if I am, then then there. Uh, batteries are starting to come out, which is great. What's going to happen with these is they're just going to flow right back down to join the bus. And again, like this feels like an excessive amount of belts. But it's so close that trains, and especially like multiple trains like this, would just be impossible to work with. So I'm okay with using a few more belts. I think, just barely, but this should reach. Indeed it does. 
my time at? Oh, man. God, these Factorio streams go so fast. Spaghetti, oh, spaghetti. Do, 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 do. Thank you, autosave. I need a lane balance around this. I mean, it won't matter so much when we get the rest of our production going, but I'll do it closer to the source. Oh, hang on. More undergrounds. Okay. Spaghetti belts make me hungry. Yeah, I could go for noodles. I, uh, I had a craving for, um, well, for a different kind of noodle last night. We ordered some Chinese. And then the bus gets all kerfuffledged here because of cliffs. And we compress the iron, which just offsets some of the things, but that's okay. I think having the batteries on there takes care of the... The last thing we ever bus? Oops. I don't know if you ever bust. You might bust some low um, low density structures or something at some point. I guess maybe blue circuits. Yeah. I don't know. If, do low density stuff? They must get used for something other than spaceship parts. They don't usually bust those. Broke one of the belts in my battery farm. Okay, well, let's... We're going to backtrack here anyway. Uh, where's my car? Dude, where's my car? Get all Mad Max up in here. Freeze. Freeze. Out of here. Smash. What do we mess up? Uh, first of all, I just put a little... Oh, I should pick up the car, because otherwise I'm going to walk away, and then I won't have it on me. I'm going to do this, which we won't really need when we get the other side, but at some point, because, again, things pull off the bus. Um, I think there's a belt that's busted. Or did I busted something else? Do, 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 do. I mean, things are clearly flowing down here. We're getting batteries down here. Did it break something else? Top part of your feed belt. Carrying what? Carrying batteries or carrying something else? Ah, right there. There you go. Ruby, thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I should have picked up more um, chem plants while I was there. Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, I'm just going to go and close this. It's going to be fine. Can you put productivity in here? Oh, you can! Okay, well, we're going to have to go back for a bunch of productivity modules as well. Because, yeah, I don't have enough for all of these. Boom. Productivity modules, chem plants. Probably that's it, right? I think that's it. Many productivity modules. Grab 20 chem plants. Technically, I need 19. But. Weave between the power cables. Oh! Shit. Hit the inserter. Didn't see you there. Could not have taken this route. All these damn small power poles. Oh, here's another one to weave through. Not that this is important. I think it just goes to some ran radar off in the. Uh, the distance somewhere that isn't actually uh, was used to try to 
try to track down iron at some point way back in the day. Yeah, copper, We it's, uh, first of all, not only is the amount of copper smelting uh, perhaps struggling, but it's the copper ore situation is getting dramatically low. We don't actually, um, we're not training any. So it's just our initial patch, which is running super low. We definitely need to, I mean, I'm happy to be setting up some co the, uh, the batteries here. Even though that's just going to add to how much stuff is consuming our copper, I suppose. But yeah, rather than... Whatever, okay. Um, rather than maybe set up something to use the batteries right now, we'll just go and uh, set up our copper mining. Then we'll have a nice a nice backlog of, of batteries waiting for us whenever we get kick in some production. If we take a look over here... How are we doing? Full on petroleum gas, full on light oil, full on heavy oil, occasionally kicking in some cracking and stuff like that to maintain this at fullness. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Our crude oil is basically full as well. I mean, these patches, I think we had a 5,000% yield, so we're down to about 3,000 now, so it's definitely going. I did find a nice uh, big patch of oil over here, 5,000, over here, 5,000. I drove around a little bit to sh try to pop up more of the map. We've got 26 million copper ore and 24 million iron ore over here. Maybe I just build a rail over here and do that. You know what I should get first, though? Some goddamn cliff explosives. Yeah. Yeah. Can you make those by hand? Explosives get made in chemical plants. Coal, sulfur, water. Um... I'm belting sulfur, and we belt coal, and we got some water we can easily get in. I think I might just build it. Yeah. Use the bus area. It's not going to be a big production thing, it's just going to be like, you know, one factory. Ow. Mm hmm. It's actually really... I can just fit it in something like this as well. Because you make... Um... Oh! Chemical plants. Oh, which means I need more than one. I, th uh, I th Maybe only one step of this needs to be made in the chemical plant. Um... Oh, plant. There it is. I don't know where the cliff explosive. There it is. Barrels, grenades. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll move you somewhere else. So, I think I do want to go and set this up real quick. Because before we start doing train things. Oh, that's not steel. Or iron. Yeah, put it on the wrong side. Um... Spaghetti. Everybody loves spaghetti, right? It's the most delicious. Oh, 
Which side you put it on? Okay. I think this will work correctly. The question is, where are we going to get the water from if we're doing it over here? I guess we'll, there's a little iron ore in the it's shore there, too. Um, yeah, I'll probably just uh, let me rotate you this way. Got whiskey and chocolate. War weird dragons! Dragness! Darkness! Weird darkness! Sorry. <laughs> Took me three tries, four tries, 15 tries to parse that. That's my bad. Uh, doing great, Quill. Keep up the good work. I believe in you. I believe in the me that believes in you. Well, thank you very much, weird. I appreciate your support, uh, emotionally and otherwise. And you're another one that's been around here for a thousand million years. Um, I'm running over here a little more. I think right here I'll just make a little corner. Um, and what I don't have is enough undergrounds. Yeah, I'll just pick them up here. Uh, right over here. Oh, we'll need a we'll need a pump as well. It always annoys me that the um like I mean I guess the yeah the actual pump is here the offshore pump isn't and I'm always like wait why is it not in the same place I guess it kind of makes sense. Grab some extra regular pipes as well. Where is we over here? Die, trees. What do you do for us, anyway? Other than give us the air we breathe. See? Nothing. And prevent erosion. See? Nothing. And valuable construction material. See? Nothing. I feel like I'm in that, um... Monty, Pi Monty Python, uh... What do the Romans ever do for us, anyway? Oh, the aqueducts. Right, right. Well, besides the aqueducts. And, you know, healthcare. Oh, besides that. And this, and that. I gotta rewatch Life of Brian. For, let's see. Oh, I think we'll actually start the drag. <laughs> Why didn't trees give us something useful like Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah, I like that meme. Well, it's not a meme. It's, you know, stupid reaction or whatever. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, where's my offshore pump? Right over there. Pump into water. The underground pipes around you sewing. Hey, yeah, you're right. What have the blanks ever done for us in one of my favorite joke formats? Yeah. I agree. I agree. It's very strong. So now we just have to get the sulfur up there. You can do this and feed into that. Do is build it the wrong way around, and then rotate it. We still have a lot of outstanding yellow transport belts that have to be replaced at some point. I don't think anywhere where it's actually holding us up, but at some point it will. 
And right, I'd already like shift C to drop in some sulfur in here. But you are now producing explosives very slowly, which are then very slowly going to be turned into cliff explosives. Awesome. Sadly, trees only give us the oxygen we breathe. Exactly. So disappointing. So disappointing. What was that? Oh, heat exchange. Oh, right, because we got a, our nuclear power going. So, okay. How is our little tiny copper area uh, over here? Okay, it still has 163 copper ore. It's not It's not dry yet. Yet. But yeah, I think, I think it's just... This is going to be giant train route to up here. I want some cliff explosives so we can clear a little bit along the way. But yeah. Um, Alright. What we need to do... You're just waiting the explosives just fine. We're going to need to potentially drop off some stuff we don't need because we're going to need stupid amounts of rail. Over here. Oh, I was going to say, why aren't you producing? But it's because, it's because the... Uh, the output here is full, so everything's stalled up. I'm still going to go and drop some things in here. 1,200 rail. It's a start. We need those, which is good. I've got the chest, which is good. I guess we're going to need mine. Oh, I have a ton of mining drills. I've got some guns, because we do have to clear out some aliens up there. Am I missing anything? I think we're okay. Oh, shit. I think we're okay. I can just find my way out of here. There you go. I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, preparing for a long trip. And, well, really, I am. An expedition to get out there. We have to ram some trees. Okay. Now, yeah, I'll just go... You know, there's the copper that's much closer here, which we'll probably mine as well. And the stone. I mean, we're definitely going to have some mines over here. Maybe you don't have to worry about it quite yet. How big is this one? 4.3! I mean, that'll still keep us going for a while. Um, we should definitely exploit it. So maybe I didn't have to worry about going all the way out there. But it's still going to be a pretty major rail expedition uh, just to get out here. Because we don't have that much infrastructure laid out yet. So let's start building something. I don't have any blueprints for the, the straightaways because, I mean, we really don't need them yet. Because I can't, I don't have bots yet. So yeah, I'm going to place some amount there. And then we'll leave a two gapper, which is, I mean, four real tiles, but two rail width worth. Okay, I'm just no, he's not okay. Yeah, I feel like I need the um, the Arrested Development narrator all the time, like do a voiceover as I make certain decisions. I think we all need one of those in our life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big question mark is leaving enough room for your actual station stuff down. Uh, we've got the T-junction over here. Oh yeah, and I can make I can make my blueprint books now. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if that was in the way or not. But, as I was gonna say, I don't think... Yeah. There's not enough room here. I suppose there's, in a sense, no need to get rid of this. At some point, bots would finish it and it wouldn't actually hurt us, even if they did. Uh, let me just build the, um, the station to the north of this. Make sure we've got plenty of uh, space. That makes more sense. Somewhere like that. Quite far up. Come down. Ghost mode build. And do something like that. Uh, hang on. Is this going to be enough room? Well, I can I can just make it longer. Okay, but turn this. I'm worried the station might be a little too short, but that's okay. I can just extend the other end. Everything else is fine. Uh, 
I was going to say, that did not come out correct. And done, done, and yeah, I'm just going to do the signals coming in and out of this intersection for now. I'll just let bots clean up the rest afterwards. Okay, so we come in on the right. What we want to do is we want to load it over here so we can... I mean, I don't think we'll necessarily be setting up multiple trains here, but that's still the habit that we want to get into. And yeah, it's not quite long enough. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's exactly... Looks like that's exactly the right length with not a single tile to spare. Beautiful. Okay. And then we want a rail signal sort of over here. That looks like we can have another one here. So theoretically, we could have up to three trains queuing here. Not that this mine is going to last long enough to do that, but that's going to be okay. Um, I don't remember if I blueprinted the standard station. No, not yet. Oh, no, I did. Never mind. Uh, ooh, slightly too long. I can edit this, right? I click to remove. There we go. Save this without the curve. Okay. I mean, I don't need... Like, the blueprint isn't necessary right now since I don't have bots anyway. And it's a really easy layout to do. Like, I don't need blueprints to tell me how to do this. I want the blueprint for bots later. Actually, the one thing would actually... Oh! This is the wrong one anyway because this is set up for unloading. So we need to do it the other way around. I mean, I know that one's closer. If I just do this, I guess then we'll stop being annoying. There you go. Connect up to that. That's going to be fine. Na -na -na -na. Yeah, try and pull into the right, queue up if they need to, load up, and then be done. And I guess I can just go and put the locomotive down. Um, now, soon we're, we're going to want to use the train supply mod. I don't know if we need to do it quite yet. And yet one side's going to be fine because we actually don't have enough miners that loading it both sides would make sense. Other than, like, you know, just buffering things, but it's really not a big deal. Uh, where are they? I mean, we have a million of them. Shouldn't be that hard to find. We're going to start you here. We're going slightly over extreme time. You know, give me a mo here. I think I want to finish this mine. Because running out of copper will be would be the next like sort of uh, not a real catastrophe, but I mean our entire factory would come to a halt. It wouldn't break down. It's not the same as running out of coal, which is like oh my god, how do I bootstrap this again? But nothing would actually get done without the copper. You need just one over here. That'll be complete coverage of everything. Watch me have missed it and have to redo it again. Wee! I like riding on belts. Belts, a 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 belts. Hey, Hero Complex. Yeah, this is actually our. I think it's our fifth session. I think that's what it says in the title. And I don't think I lied when I made the title. Or did I? I think fifth is correct.
Ah. I need the... Well, two. it's a two... Double-edged sword. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I was going to say, I need the tech in my suit so that, I, you know, I'm immune to belt effects. But that means you can't run along belts anymore. Which is kind of sad. Um, these two could definitely be merged. They don't have enough production to fully saturate. We'll just do a lane-balanced um, merge. into a 4x4 four four balancer over here, and that's going to be fine for this mine. Ah! Come on! Hands are not responding to my commands. Okay. Uh, I guess, actually, we can cross anywhere. As we'll just cross here. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like when I'm, I'm doing things like this, and there's not a lot of conversation, I feel like I should have, like, open questions to the audience. Um... Other than Toph, who's the best character in Avatar? Discuss. Because obviously the answer is just Toph, who's the best. But if you can't pick Toph, who's the best? Oh, Uncle Iroh. Duh. Other than Uncle Iroh and Toph. I feel like this list is going to end up being like, other than these ten names. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Other than Uncle Iroh and Toph, though, that's for sure. Because then I think we're, we're really starting to hit things. Momo, Appa. Iroh, greater than Toph, greater than Aang. Appa's pretty goddamn good, that's true. The Cabbage Man. <laughs> no, my cabbages! <laughs> Uh, da 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 Alright, if we bring some purr over here... Oh, I don't think I have enough medium cables. Now, I should, I should have maybe been careful here, because obviously if you've never watched um, Avatar, you might be getting some some spoilers in the chat. I mean, it is, at this point, what, like a 15-year-old show. And if you haven't watched it, just just, just watch it. Just just watch the show. Mm -hmm. Boomerang! <laughs> Boomerang, you always, you do always come back. Oh, so it's Team Boomerang. It's got Aang in it. It's perfect. I'm trying to remember all the Sokka Boomerang quotes. Um, all right. So in general, the idea was to drop off copper over here, probably. Because currently this is our copper mine. We have already are sort of set up to feed copper. There's this wiggly over here because we were extracting the stone. But this actually would be a great time to rip it apart. There's not much stone left on the bottom part. We don't need that much stone anyway. And we can get four clean lines coming in here to our copper smelting. Um, and really, it's the, it's the raw copper that's holding us back, not the copper throughput. But it would be a fine time for me to go ahead and set up all four copper production bits. Boom, he's got the space sword. Um, okay, cliff explosives. Nice. I don't know how it, like, levels it. I mean, it's clear, cliffs are not actually a level change in this, or maybe it's it's not a cliff explosive, it's a cliff smoother. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. Try not to overthink about this. Yeah, there, there was no, there was no Avatar: The Last Airbender movie. 
You have to be invited to uh, Lake Laogai to clear things up. Sounds like you just need a vacation. The Earth King is inviting you to forget all about the Avatar The Last Airbender movie. Although Netflix is working on a like an actual, it's going to be live action Avatar, right? But like TV show? And it sounds like they don't want to F it up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. The engine does, yeah, does procedurally, it, it when it, during map generation, it knows about terrain height. Um, and it uses that for the, the water and the clips, but um, it doesn't actually represent the height in the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, M. Night Shyamalan and Bing Bong did some pretty crazy stuff. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, bing, bang, walla, walla, boom, bum. Actually, I went from, like, 50s, like, sock hop song to um, Mario Brothers stuff. Factorio 2 now with full voxel engine. Oof. Okay, let me, I'm going to start building from the other end here, and then we'll meet up. Mm -hmm. What's with the, the, the random, um, non, you know, whatever, they keep bringing up Mixer today? I feel like, I mean, I, I don't want to, like, assume that you guys are bots or anything like that, but there's, like, been a few in a row that I'm, like, some sort of bot thing or just, like, a medic movement. Backlash because of like the DMCA stuff, which isn't Twitch's fault. There's some bullshit DMCA stuff that's been going on and causing issues for people with problems, but it's certainly not a Twitch thing. Wait, Mixer just announced they're shutting down. Oh, is that what the meme is? <laughs> oh, no, okay, now all of a sudden that's funny. I'm like, oh god, not this shit again. People always want me to move to Mixer or whatever. Decided to commit suicide shifting to Facebook gaming. Oh. It's going to be like, uh, like MLG again. I think it was MLG that moved a bunch of their shit over to Facebook streaming. It's like, are you serious right now? Are you for serious? Okay. Well, it'll probably kill the power. Okay, there's no probably. Um, I think I'm trashing the electric poles. Let me go and clear that for now, just to keep them in here. Since I'm a little low on mediums anyway. Okay. Oh, that was a medium that I grabbed there. Anyway. Let me make a little more space. Now, I think what's going to happen, I think there's going to be a four-way intersection somewhere over here. Maybe down here. Okay, I like that idea. Now, I don't actually have a plan for a four-way intersection. Um, which we'll have to make a proper blueprint for it later, but for now, I can just kind of fake it. Fine, this way we might be able to get a rid away with not bulldozing those cliffs. Um, if I just go and mirror a couple of T's, uh, no, that's, it really doesn't like that. Okay, I may have to draw one. Damn it. Um, what is it? Control. There we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted either. I just want to cancel the blueprint that was there. Um, okay, what button am I looking for? Oh, shift, isn't it? There you go. Do this, hold shift, do that. Okay, there. Like, there's a tingy here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I still like the idea of bringing some things in this way. I guess I actually don't have to build the four-way intersection right now. That's true, but I'm going to be lazy. Actually, this might just be, since I do have access to blueprint importing now, finally. Um, and I mean, I've designed the four-way intersections before, but it's really easy to mess up. So I was just going to wait until we had a blueprint ability. But we got that now. As I was going to say, that's going to interfere a little bit. Um, yeah, we can probably just move this then. But I think I like where the rail is coming in. This might interfere a little with unloading. Well, that's fine if it does. Actually, let me do that, just so that you don't... Well, it doesn't matter because there's so little production that comes there anyway, but yeah. 
Roundabouts. Ooh, instead of intersections. Roundabouts. Okay, well, we're definitely going over here. And, yeah, so for this, I may not actually do a, a an actual intersection, because we don't really need one. Uh, so we need some regular train signals on the exits from this block. And then we'll train signal over here. Doop. I don't think I was on a train track, but holy crap, did that scare me. In, 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 in. Oh yeah, I guess I've got them all. Not a ghost, is it? No. There, okay. And, oh, I guess I, if I hold the thing, I'll be able to see the blocks. Yeah, yeah, yellow colored block in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Perfect-ish. And stop over there. And yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll only unload on one side over here for now, just because the other stuff's in the way. And it's fine because it's not like um, we don't have that much uh, again copper ore throughput. Like one train unloading from one side at maximum speed is going to be lots of copper for now. Very soon, it will be nowhere clear close to enough. But for now, it's going to be enough. Um, you dumped on the right, so I think that's correct on this side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, yeah. Um, power poles enough copper in Factorio. Yeah. Whee! Well, okay. We've gone 20 minutes over. I'm going to go and put a cut in here. Um, and we are going to continue this on Wednesday. I think next Saturday we're going to do the same thing as this past Saturday, where it's going to be programming stream into something else. Might be single-player Factorio, might be multiplayer Factorio, might be some other random multiplayer somewhere along the way. But yeah, uh, so there's going to be more Factorio on Wednesday. There's going to be more programming on Saturday. And we'll figure out the rest after that. Uh, thanks everyone who came out, who subbed and resubbed and contributed to Whiskey and Chocolate Fun and produced the, uh, the, um, the, um, the bits. We are going to, let me just check. A Kiss for Luck is, should be streaming right now. Oh, she's, she's working on a Minecraft. That's another thing. At some point, guys... I'm just going to have to go and do some Minecraft. I've really never really played Minecraft. Um, and I know, yeah, I probably should have done it about 10 years ago when it would have, like, made my, my YouTube channel. Uh, but better late than never. One day we'll do it. For now, I'll learn by watching A Kiss for Luck. Let's go and give her a raid, and I'm going to see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye.